Good morning. When I was about five years old, my dad took me into Mr. Foote's country store, which was filled with all sorts of groceries and hardware, and out front was a big barrel of roasted peanuts. So on the way home, I started cracking open a handful of peanuts when my dad asked, where'd you get the peanuts? Upon which I sheepishly re replied, well, at Mr. Foote's store. And then came the big question, did you pay for them? Well, of course, I didn't have any money. And I just grabbed a handful as I was headed out the door, and my hand was pretty small, so I didn't get that many. But upon hearing my story, my dad immediately turned the car around, and in short order, I was apologizing to Mr. Foote and sweeping the floor to show remorse for my deed. It was a major lesson in accountability, and one that I have never forgotten. While I have served on the Westminster session a number of times before, this is my first year on the Witness and Service Committee, where 28% of the church's budget is allocated. We can be proud that our church is a leader in our denomination in what we give to missions. In 2018, that figure will be close to three quarters of a million dollars. While this is impressive, I have come to understand what goes behind each one of those numbers. Each agency, each group, each year must submit their requests along with proper justification and credible evidence that they are not only well managed, but that their financial systems can properly track where our funds go and what results they can demonstrate and to substantiate our continued support, accountability. Beginning last June, Witness and Service began reviewing submitted requests for funding for 2018. Carefully looking at our history with the group, the leadership they have in place, and how they account for the funds that we entrust to their organization. No one gets a free pass. And there was no, well, they got so much last year, we'll just tack on a certain percentage for this year. Critical questions were asked. Submissions were reviewed and then re-reviewed. In many cases, we had direct interaction with the group, with a submitter of, from the group, or even turned to outside experts to evaluate the credibility of the group. And in some cases, applications were rejected. And hardest of all, if we did not feel that a currently funded group could adequately justify their new request, it was rejected. Every line, every budget item, every group was seriously and prayerfully considered before we came up with our draft 2018 budget, which was then reviewed several times before it became the recommended 2018 budget. So why do I tell you this? Because as you have made, or are about to make, your pledge for next year, you can be assured that stewardship works both ways. We ask you to pledge as part of the stewardship season here at Westminster. But we in turn pledge to you that we take very seriously our obligation to be good stewards of those funds making sure that they are wisely and carefully spent to heal, to teach, to lift up those not only in Greenville, but around the world. A handful of peanuts taught me a great deal about accountability. But we realize that we manage a budget, a budget that is much more than peanuts. The budget is large, but so is our commitment to you. In 1 Peter, we read, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's wonderful grace. We ask you to be accountable to God as we in turn commit our accountability to you. Thank you.